been a couple of days since I last uploaded, and it's time to start a new career mode. You guys voted for this one. Welcome to episode one here at Crystal Palace. IRL last season, Vera took charge of Crystal Palace and helped them finish 12th place in the Premier League. Whilst playing some really attractive football, some bigger clubs might want to come in and get Vieira, but we want to be doing even better than him, guys. I want this career mode to be a 2-3 season career mode and very challenging. Let's do this! So, of course, we're going to put some rules on the transfers to try and keep it realistic, keep it challenging. This is going to be a good career mode. If you guys are excited for it, drop a little like, subscribe if you're new, turn the bell on, and let's get into it. You guys know the first thing we're going to do is take a look at the squad. We're playing a 4-2-3-1 with a couple of positions adjusted. Overall, it's a decent squad. It's okay. It's definitely mid-table. I mean, you've got Zaha, Essie, Edouard, Olesi, however you say his name, who are good players and have good potential. Same as Gary. Gallagher on loan from Chelsea. Gooey at the back. I mean, Mitchell, it does have a lot of good players, to be fair. But it also has a fair bit of deadwood, like Christian Benteke, who is now third. He's only 30. I remember when this guy was flying at Aston Villa. We've got MacArthur, who's 33. Luca, who's 30. There's a lot of players to move on. And of course, we need to sign players. We have a budget of £80 million in the first season. You're probably thinking that's a lot of money. But remember, guys, in the summer window, three signings is the maximum we can make. And one signing in the January window. And of course, we're not going to sign someone who's ridiculously high rated. If we're going to sign someone high-ish rated, it's because their career has fallen off and it's reviving like we did in the Villa career mode with a couple of players. The board wants us to finish mid-table in the Premier League. Now, I think that's fair, but I want to go a step further. If we can get UEFA Conference League football next season, that would be a really good achievement. And that might be quite challenging because if you're new to the channel, we play on old win difficulty, competitive mode, player-based difficulty, slight just to make it harder, pause the video, slow it down, go back. You want to take a closer look, they're also in the description under the video. But before we get into the signings, we have the first press conference of this series. And if you're new to the channel again, we have episode objectives and seasonal objectives, which are challenges and goals we have to achieve, else we have a forfeit if we fail it. At the start of the season, we always have three seasonal objectives. I fill in one, the other two, you guys go down to the comments and put your suggestion with your challenge and your forfeit but the first one is to try and get 18 goal contributions with Wilfred Zaha yes goal contributions that's goals and assists if he does not achieve that then next season we have to release him so that's a pretty big forfeit there's a lot on the line and of course we get no money from him. we're not selling him we actually lose money to release him and today's episode objective is we cannot lose against Chelsea which is the first game in the Premier League as the forfeit is signings made this episode cannot play the games we play play next episode so get your season objectives in get your episode objective for next episode with its forfeit and also if you have any comments or suggestions you want me to highlight or go over then leave them in the comments and it may make the press conferences but going back to the squad and talking positions we could strengthen and where we lack depth and strength etc one of the positions could be right winger we have a lise again let me know in the comments i, I don't know how to say his name he can play on the right he's not the quickest but he has a left foot we could convert him there we have Ayu, who is 29. He's not the slowest in the world. And of course, he plays on the right. Contract is Brian commended the air. Don't know if we sell him now or just renew it. Let me know in the comments. With striker, for now, I feel we're fine. I mean, we've got a quick Edward who's got good potential. I don't know if he still does this FIFA, but he has in the past. We also have Maleta, who's 24. He's really not the quickest, but he probably has some decent potential. Of course, we have Connor Gallagher from Chelsea and Loam. We really do want to try and make this guy permanent at some point. Maybe we do that this summer. But if we were to do that, that would obviously be one of our three signings. So we would only be able to bring in two more new faces to the side. I'd say the main position we really need to strengthen in is that right back. We have Klein, 73. He's not quick and he's 30. And then the other player we have in that position is Ward, who's 31 and he's really not quick. Of course, Aaron Wambasaka IRL has actually been linked with going back to Palace on loan. So this could be an interesting signing that we make. We definitely wouldn't be able to loan him because they don't want to do that. But if we were to buy him, I'm pretty sure it's a valuation of like 23 million. So it probably costs around 30 
to 35 million to get this deal done. But it's on the thumbnail. The player I want to bring to Palace in this episode and make the signing is Marco Asensio. He is only 25. He's 83 rated, would maybe cost around 45 million. So that's half our budget already. But this guy used to be absolutely incredible. In the preseason, before going into the 2017 18 season, this guy was, I want to say, world class. Of course, he has had injury problems since then and he hasn't played too much. He's had problems with Madrid managers, the fans, etc. And I want to revive this guy's career. I want to bring him to Crystal Palace and play him on the right hand side. He's not the quickest, but this guy would be good to see in the Premier League. He's got a good left foot and I think would be a very interesting player to sign. If we were to sign this guy, the other two signings wouldn't be able to be the highest rated, wouldn't be able to spend as much money because we want to still keep some money for January. I mean, perhaps we sign Aaron Wan Masaka and Asensio and boom, that's our transfer business done for this summer window. Let me know in the comments. But I'm going to go in for him right now and we're going to try and offer 49. I don't want to go into the 50 margin. Just please accept that. Okay, they accept it. Get in. I just, I didn't want to go into the 50 margin for Marco Asensio with Crystal Palace. A four-year deal, no release clause. The wages, that is a fair bit. If we give you 120k and a 300k signing on bonus, what are you saying? He says yes. But a development plan on him is actually not the slowest. I thought he was actually slower than that. He's been given the number 21, which he may have had at Madrid. Or was that Isco? I think we can definitely look to sell IU now, but there we go. He goes into the side, on the right-hand side. At some point, maybe we convert him to to cam he was originally a cam i'm pretty sure that's a massive signing that is a massive signing we have just made and hopefully he has a massive impact to the side i do feel zaha is still the main guy his stats are probably better going forward with power pace speed etc i mean he's got really good finishing 78 finishing for a wingo z2 rated is good if we were ever to convert to a formation with two up front maybe he could play as a center forward i'm not too sure apparently these are the four players we're trying to get rid of on the transfer list. We've got Makafa, Benteke, Ayu, and Luca. Not saying that second name. I'd like to think we're able to get around 18, 20, 21 million if we sell all these players, which would boost our budget up to 50 million. So we would have a decent amount left for this window and save some for January. We definitely need a backup left back. I don't know if Ferguson has any potential. I know Mitchell does. It may be like 80 too, but I have signed him before and he is good. Of course, we need a right back. We need a backup center back at some point. Maybe you could loan in someone like Malang Sar from Chelsea. Pretty sure he's valued at about 6 million. We could do a loan to buy for 9 million. Would be a solid deal. Perhaps that's a, a January move. We do have an aging midfield, but I feel Reedwald is a very, very good player to come through because he's 24. He's left footed, 75. He can definitely get up in rating. He could be 78 by the end of the season. But at some point, we should probably just swap him for Kowadi. In fact, I'll just do that now. We'll just play Rudwald instead of him. First transfer offer is for MacArthur from Union Berlin. 3.3 million. About valuation, we accepted it. Ooh, apparently we've got competition for Juan Bersaka from Barcelona. They've offered 28 million, I believe. I don't want to make a second signing in this episode. I only made one in the first episode, so we're not going to sign him. If Barcelona take him, then, you know, we were too slow. Norwich won. Benteke for 5.8 million. I'm going to negotiate and try and get a little bit more. 6.3 million. What are they going to say? They say, yeah. Okay, good deal. Now, a transfer offer for Luca from Club Bruge. 4.05 million. We'll accept that. Oh, Bryden. One IU. They're offering his valuation. I know his contract's expiring, but I'm just going to try and get 5.2. See what they say. Oh, we're just going to have to accept that. Oh, Lazio are also interested. 5 million. Yes, we'll accept that. Melangsa is so 75 rated, valued at 6.5 million. Juan Basak is 80. Okay, he's now at Barcelona. Great. 23 million. I, I did actually remember that somehow. Uh, yeah, he's at Barcelona. Can't do that deal anymore. And guys, I've just been simming through preseason. We're in the same final against Lille, and Asensio has scored five goals. He's scoring like every game. So we have sold all the players on the transfer list Benteke, Makafa, Luca, and Ayu. And we have now got a budget of 52 million. That has gone up because we did win preseason. So first game of the season in the Premier League is here. And of course, we have an episode objective this episode, which means we cannot lose against them. Else, Asensio cannot play next episode. It's going to be interesting.
interesting. Who has a better season, Elise or Eze? Both have good stats. I'm pretty sure Elise has some really good potential. Maybe even 86. If I'm remembering that right, then he needs to be playing more because Eze only has a potential of like 82. Gallagher's gone up in raiding. This team is solid. All we really need is a good quick right back who's around 77 plus rated and this team is good we will finish top half of the table if we want to get a draw and not lose from this game we're gonna have to be organized we're gonna have to move the ball well and uh keep our concentration levels up oh no early on timo Werner is gonna put that across the box Werner. oh it's hit the post it's a save and then off the post good opportunity so far for chelsea right, i'm just gonna fill her this ball now here's reed Wald out wide to asensio Oh, Edward was making a good run. It does go to him, though. Zaha's making a good run over the top. Ball played. Zaha on the volley. Oh, that's our first goal. Crystal Palace 1-0. Chelsea 0. What an opener. What a ball over the top. I don't know who played that. It was on their left foot. And boom, Zaha in the back of the net. On the volley. What a finish right there. That is a shocking start to the game. I did not think we'd be 1-0 up with a goal by Zaha like that. Here come Chelsea. Try and get back in the game, though. That's a good ball out wide to, to Timo Werner. Got to try and slide in. That was a close penalty, that was. That's a good save by the keeper. Chelsea, very nearly getting straight back in it. Here's Gallagher on the ball. Slip that to Edouard. Good bit of play by Edouard in the box. Asensio! It's 2-0 Palace! There's no way we're winning this right now. It's Marco Asensio with his debut goal for Palace. And Chelsea have been hit hard right now. I don't I don't know why the replays are so laggy. Don't forget, a couple of seasons ago, I'm pretty sure the first game of the season, they were playing West Brom, Chelsea. They went 3-0 down, and it was a 3 all draw. So this game is not over. Oh, here's N'Golo Kante. He's going to hit one, and that's an instant goal back from Chelsea. It's 2-1. It's some awful defending there. I mean, we've passed it to him. We've, whoever that is, number six, just passed the ball to Angola Kante right there. That is not a good goal to concede. Here's Mitchell on the ball. Got someone drifting back post. That's a good cross and that's a great clearance. Big header. Connor Gallagher against his low knee club. Gonna hit one. Oh! You're kidding me! There is no way that's just got in. What a goal by Callan, Callan, Connor Gallagher. I'm shocked. I'm actually shocked. That goal was beautiful. Bar down on the line and that's a goal it's over the line it's it's over the line you can see it so we get a replay of the goal line technology but not the goal so here's the replay head is it to to gallagher it takes a good touch and he has hit that it's timo Werner just before half time can chelsea get a goal back here's angola kante on the ball that's a ball out to lukaku have a nice little pass there what are we doing there how have we just passed it to Kante again? Just before halftime, it's 3-2. Chelsea are getting back in it. Can they sub Kante off? Because he scored two goals, but we are passing him the ball. It's almost like we think he's playing for us. I mean, I'll take him. If, if you want to give us Kante, I would take him. Well, second half now, and to be fair in the first, we didn't show much defensively. So, yeah, no, I mean, they're straight back in it. It's three all just like that. So if we want to try and not lose this game, we need to score more goals because we've done nothing defensively. Every time they've attacked, they've scored. So the best form of defense and keeping it level is by scoring ourselves. I, again, I, d I don't know why the replays are so laggy. Rewild, big header to Wilfred Zaha. Are we just going to hit another one from range? Why not? I mean, what are these long shots? I can show you the sliders. Look at this. These are the sliders for us. These long shots are incredible. That's it. That is a three-all draw against Chelsea first game of the season at the bridge. Not a bad result. We did not lose. So Asensio can play in the games we play next episode. So in next game, we have Brentford. I don't really see any need to make any changes because we did well in that first game. To be fair, Schlupp looks like a good player. He can play center mid. He's got 84 acceleration, 84 sprint speed. He looks like a good player. He is 28, but he may grow still by the end of the season. If he can get 77, 78, he could be a solid backup winger. Our first home game of the season against Brentford. I mean, after the result we just got against Chelsea, you'd expect us to win this game. Is he on side? He is. His Zaha on the left-hand side. Put that onto his right foot. People in the box, whipping it in. Not the best of crosses. Well, that's a big ball in behind, that is. 
Oh, here's a big opportunity for Brentford. That's 1-0 to Brentford. There we go. Just like that. That is not a goal you want to concede. I thought Keeper would be doing better that. That is awful. Where's Marco Asensio? Let's try and get him involved in the game. Our big new signing. Probably the, yeah, the biggest signing Palace have ever made. It's going on a bit of a run now. Still got the ball onto that left foot. He's doing well. That's a good run by Eze. Put the ball out wide to Zaha. Keep the ball. Mitchell. Nice bit of play from us here. Gallagher making a good run. Asensio back in the box. This is good opportunity. How's his right foot? Just going to hit it. Oh, it's 1-1. What a goal by Marco Asensio. Ball goes straight back to him. It's a great touch. I don't really know what star weak foot he has, but that's a great hit. Top left-hand corner. I don't know what kind of angle it was. Yeah, keeper could have keeper should have saved that. I mean, keeper ability is on 70, but we might just want to up that a little bit more. That's a big ball in behind for Brentford. Another big opportunity, and that is a good tackle. I don't know if this is just the first two games, or if we're going to concede a lot of goals and score a lot of goals this season. It's Gallagher on his right. This is going to finesse one over the bar. Well, that's a good ball in behind. Here come Brentford. Number 21, nice bit of passing. Going to hit one. What is our goalkeeper? Can he not say? I don't think he saved a shot in this tire save so far. We're just crap defensively. What is that? He hits it. Okay, it's a great finish. It's top corner. Great. But why are all their shots top corner? Oh, that's a, that's a run. Please be onside. Please be onside. Pull that back onto his left. He's not left footed. But that's a good cross. Big header. Couldn't get there. Mitchell. Big header. Reedwald. Picked up the ball. Here he is. Here is Gallagher on that right foot. He can't hit one. You guys have seen, it's just going to hit that over the bar. He hit that hard. Okay, it's Marco Asensio. We need a big impact on the game right now. Perhaps we bring on Elise. That's a ball in behind to Zaha. Can he get there? No, he can't. Well, here come Brentford. If they were to get that third now, it's game over. They get the three points. We just need to switch on, have that opportunity, and finish it. We need a point minimum from this game. Is Ericsson. Oh, that's that's the out. That's the out. We've lost to Brentford. I mean, why are we losing to Brentford? It's an awful goal to concede as well. Who's marking Tony? Who, who's marking him? Oh, no, they could get a fourth. Get that key. What is that? You are, oh, you stupid keeper. What is that? What's he doing? What on earth is he doing? Dive to it. Slide to it. Do something. Don't just watch it. That's it. A four. A four. 4-1 loss to Brentford. I mean, I'm pretty sure we... Yeah, no, they scored first. We got the equaliser. I don't know what that's all about. That is a dreadful result. But we have Newcastle next in the Carabao Cup. Remember, we have £54 million to spend. We have 212 k in the wage budget. The positions we need to improve, we have gone over. We need a right back. wan has gone to Barca, so we're going to have to have some different suggestions. Let me know in the comments who your player of the episode is in the comments. If you guys have enjoyed today's video, leave it a like subscribe if you're new turn the bell on in the top left of your screen should be a video that youtube recommends you watch